we were discussing about planets in different houses and what are the natural things natural remedies related to synchronization with planets that you can do to make sure that you get the positive qualities of these planets in your life and stay away from the malefic influences of these planets in your life and today we will talk about venus venus in 12 different houses and how you should behave which changes you should make in your personality to attract the good results basically natural remedies instead of gemstones or other remedies what is the initial preparatory remedies that you should do for venus in these different houses to get the positive and good results for venus as i told you before also as you do these remedies for one year or more than one year you will see positive changes in the result of venus in your horoscope additional point is that not only the house of venus should be considered but if venus is aspecting at any particular house the result of that aspecting house should also be taken and remedies for that house should also be done so this remedy is not only for the placement of planet but also for the aspect of the planet as well right starting with the first house first if there is venus in the ascendant let's understand one simple point that venus indicates cloth so we are clean clothes wearing dirty clothes is not good in fact also in hinduism it is recommended that lakshmi the goddess does not like dirt at all so if one wears untidy or dirty clothes lakshmi goddess lakshmi will be angry on the person and he will not be able to be prosperous in life so make sure to wear clean and tidy clothes and even if you wear two clothes only you should have a habit of washing them every day that will be good along with that one should dress according to the occasion one should be fashionable fashionable as in dress according to the occasion right be prepared for the occasion be presentable and don't live like you know someone who is straight out of the jungle but don't live like that while taking bath right this is one of very prominent remedies right if you have read my article of astrology frequently asked questions a very old article there i have recommended that in the place of gemstones one can also use particular roots and herbs for the plants as a remedial measer so that being another point the uses of this roots and herb is that you can make a talisman you can make a tabij and put this herbs into that tabij and can wear it provided the fact that the herb in the tabij is changed every 15 days it is 100 times more effective than a gemstone even if it is not changed once every 15 days then also it is as effective as a gemstone as well the uses of herbs as a remedial measure of planets because herbs also have you know plants also have life in them and herbs also have you know consciousness in them as you know proven by jagadish chandra bose ji this is a very powerful remedy in the same line for venus and moon specifically when they are in ascendant one should mix a little bit of water with milk or curd and should bath with that so the process is that you take a jug of water you take a little amount of water put a few drops of milk into it and first pour this over your head then you can take a normal bath and doing this when moon or venus is in ascendant or seventh house that in ascendant or aspecting the ascendant is a very beautiful remedy which i have seen is very useful for people specifically to you know increase fortune get married have children this remedy is a very miraculous remedy and generally also venus moon in first house or seventh house this remedy should be done one should respect their spouse and respect people of opposite gender one should not cheat in relationship and it is not only spouse or girlfriend or boyfriend relationship in any type of relationship one should not cheat and one should not bully others or criticize others for a good venus when venus is in second house then one should support their father and one should help female siblings of mother maternal aunt as much as possible one should give donation of food clothes and money to devi temple for 
if you find any organization which is working towards upliftment of women or who is giving you know work to women then you can try purchasing products from them or donate them some wealth or if you cannot purchase then can recommend people to purchase products from them that will also be very good one should make sure to consume at least one milk product per day if one is not tolerant to milk products then they have to find alternate ways but at least one milk product consumption per day is needed right consumption of one milk product per day is needed if possible one can also use room freshener or scented candles in their home bedroom living room one should do specifically if there is marital life issue because of this venus in the second house one should do that generally venus in the sixth house or eighth house or second house will create delays in marriage or issues pertaining to marital life right dissatisfaction between couple non understanding between couple and for that this is a very good remedy so this should be done and ayurvedic supplements to boost health stamina etc after consulting good ayurvedic physician should also be taken for venus in the second house venus aspecting the second house. if venus is there in the third house then first of all you should have a sister if you are not having a biological sister then cousins or you know taking a female as your sister and you know like at least celebrating raksha bandhan and bhaiya dooj with her every year at least is a very good remedy respect female siblings and other females of same age coworkers etc consumption of scented food such as pan etc is also beneficial nowadays people you know use intoxications in pan that is wrong but according to ayurveda and kama sutra if one you know eats the leaf of if one consumes the leaves of pan after food it improves digestion also so that should be done uses of mouth freshener etc should be done pure mouth fresheners without intoxication should be taken because if you start taking intoxications you will activate your rahu that will give bad result as well so keep this in mind worshiping goddess lakshmi is recommended and chanting mantra of goddess lakshmi visiting temple of goddess lakshmi is recommended sometime people may have problem of you know people may have some you know mental issues in accepting that a woman is superior to them venus in third house people should not have this particular issue and they should follow the advice of intelligent woman around them most importantly more than boys girls have this problem of you know taking other women as superior to themselves this should not be done and impartial judgment should be made and if someone is found to be more intelligent or experienced than you then following their opinion is highly recommended working towards the upliftment of women in society or donating to the institutions who are working towards the upliftment of society or purchasing products from them is also highly recommended supporting your female colleagues by any way right by either sharing your experience with them or sharing any tips and tricks with them is also very useful when venus is in the fourth house then you should have cordial very cordial and good relationship with your mother in law and maternal aunts try to help them as much as possible uses of scented candles perfumes room freshener in your home living room bedroom will be very good one should stay away from early indulgence into luxuries and affairs etc in life many a times i have seen that venus connected to fourth house people generally have affair or what do they call true love from very early in life but because of this they lose many opportunities of growth in life later on only to repent so make sure that you control yourself and you do not engage into uses of luxuries or a lot of enjoyment or having girlfriend boyfriend from very early in age at least wait up to 21 22 years before venturing into these things and even after you have a girlfriend or even if you have a blessed life and you have all things to enjoy self control and self restraint is highly recommended otherwise it will be problematic white or darker color in you know home as in the color of the curtains bed seats etc the paint of the wall or the color of the vehicle etc should be preferred which is good one should practice bali vaishudev bali vaishudev is basically in the evening you cook food and first of all give this particular food to animals around you right so you in the evening you take some food you go outside your home and give a portion of food to animals in each and every direction you take 
food and put a little uh, you know a little bit of food in east direction south east south south west west north west north north east upward and downward direction so technically 10 small small portions of food you put on ground with a prayer that animals from all the directions should come and consume it this is called bali vaishwadev this was a very essential practice in vaidik religion and anyone who ha who does this as a regular practice every day in fact people who you know take first first chapati or the last chapati out for you know animals cows etc they live a very prosperous life in the long run is what i have seen a contented happy life they live and most importantly with venus connected to the fourth house this is one of the best remedies also for cow sheds and goshalas one should try to donate money to them and if possible purchase clarified butter and other such cow products from those organizations only who are known to maintain a good goshala that will be good for this particular thing venus in the fourth house one should also one can also maintain garden in their home or have some plants either in their living room or in their balcony that is very good in this you know clean india movement in this purification drive one should try to participate as much as possible that will also be very good for people with venus in venus connected to fourth house Venus connected to fifth house, one should chant the mantra of Goddess Lakshmi. Shreem being a very small one-lettered mantra is highly effective. So constant chanting of Shreem, 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 whenever you get time without counting is very beneficial. If you find any young female child below the age of 12, 13 around you and if you can donate something to them, give something to them, generally not money but something to eat etc. In the time of Navratri, Navratri comes twice in a year. In the time of Navratri, one should do Kanya Pujan. That is very good for them. If one cannot do Kanya Pujan, then if any, uh, you know, temple is known to organize Kanya Pujan, one should donate to that particular temple. Or if one cannot do formal Kanya Pujan, then at least distributing food to women, young, young, uh, you know, young female children under the age of 16, should be done on the day of either Ashtami or Navami. If one wants progeny, then Kanya Pujan on Navami is not recommended. Kanya Pujan on Ashtami is recommended. If one have children and want other Siddhis in life, then Kanya Pujan on Navami can be done. However, if you ask my personal recommendation, I will always recommend Kanya Pujan and Devi Homam on Ashtami only, not on Navami. Right? Underprivileged students who are not able to have books or stationery or other things for them, Try to help them, donate things to them, which is donate things to them, which is needed. And if any children is being bullied around you, generally we ignore this. But you, if you have Venus in fifth house, then you should try to protect the child who is being bullied and make sure that children maintain cordial relationship with each other. And whenever you see such injustice happening to children, you should you know, intervene. One should also try to develop some artistic hobbies. I'm not saying that you go and learn painting and become a good painter, but any hobby that you are interested in, try to practice it every day, no matter how good or bad you are, but practice it, practice it as a remedy, as a sadhana, and it will be very good for you. And anyone with Venus in the fifth house, anyone, if they come to ask you for help, even your worst enemy, never refuse them your help, always help them. This will greatly help you. Helping others will help you, no matter even if the person that you help is your enemy or anyone. If there is Venus in 6th house, then don't fight with women at all. Fighting, abusing, backbiting, thinking bad about women should not be done under any condition. Donation or distribution of food product is very good. Any female sweeper or female worker you meet, you should donate something to them. Supplementary medication as per the requirements of body for vitality, better health, etc. should be taken. Planting trees, working for the preservation of trees, maintaining gardens, etc. is highly recommended. 
spending time with birds and animals, visiting animal sanctuaries, reserve, reserved parks, etc. Once a year, once every six months, once every four months is also highly recommended. With Venus in the sixth house. Venus in the seventh house, you should respect your life partner and other people of opposite gender. People suffering difficulties in relationship, if you can help them in any way by giving them advice or doing anything for them, that should be done. Whenever you have time, you should go on pilgrimage. Lust and sexuality should be controlled because these people have very high libido and because of you know overindulgence into lust or sexuality, they can lose their focus as well. So this is something that you should control. Singing glories of God, chanting the name of God, right? Singing the bhajans of God is highly recommended. Dancing for deities, Right, as it happens in ISKCON temples, is also highly recommended. And donation of clothes, newly purchased clothes, should be done. If there is Venus in the eighth house, then you should donate for the last rites of anyone and whomever you can donate. Females who are suffering misfortune, who are suffering divorce or miscarriage, etc., whatever way possible, you should help them. Donation of food and medicine is very good. Donation to female relatives, sisters, etc. is also very good. With females at your workplace, you should have cordial relationship with them. And if possible, don't feed cows or donate to organizations looking after cow. Venus in the ninth house, one should visit Devi temple. One should go on pilgrimage. If possible, use pure cow products, pure cow ghee and other things. One should respect female. If one can get a female teacher from whom they can learn something, one should learn from them. If you have, if you had any teacher in your female teacher in your school, try to maintain a contact with them, give them occasional gifts, at least on teacher's day. If possible, before marriage, practice celibacy, at least mental, not thinking bad about other women and not having sexual thoughts about every woman should be maintained. Reading Devi Puran, Durga Saptashati, Markande Puran, singing glories of Mother Goddess, singing her bhajans, etc. is recommended. One should find their family deity and if possible, try to visit their temple once in a year. If not, then one should go to the place where they are born in and find the biggest temple, temple with maximum visitor in that place, in the city where they are born in and try to visit that temple at least once every week if they live in the same city or once every year, once every six months, once every four months, whatever is feasible. That will be a very great remedy. Venus in the 10th house, you should help your uh, female co-workers, etc. Right? Whenever there is time you can give gift to your sister or other female employees if it is feasible, right? If you see any female worker, female sweepers, etc. around you, then also you should donate them some money or, you know, donate them something, whatever you can. Try to maintain a cordial relationship with your sister, cousin, sister, etc. Following the ethics and morals of your family and religion and upholding the good name of family is highly recommended. Venus in the 10th house people, if they do anything such as, you know, going into affairs or misbehaving with people, which brings bad name, and bad name and fame to their family. Generally, I have seen these people are not able to succeed later on in life. Right? Something just happens with them. Right? So this is something that you have to be a bit careful about. Saying bad words about women backbiting about woman or any woman, right? She can be elder, she can be younger, she can be of the same age, she can be employee, she can be sister, etc. Can be highly, like, should be highly recommended, should not be done even by mistake. In fact, even, you know, showing a female in a derogatory light or, uh, you know, talking about a woman in a derogatory tone is highly prohibited, should not be done at all. Venus in the 11th house, one should try to help their female co-workers in office. Uses of perfumes and other things related to beautification is also highly recommended. Take the advice of spouse, girlfriend, boyfriend in your profession. 
or before taking any major professional decision. Donation to female workers around yourself, at least on every Friday, Monday is uh, very good. You can give gift to your house help maid also. Gifting to female relatives, sisters, cousins, etc. is also very good. Donation of milk, sweets, clothes, other food products is also good. Donation of luxury items to your relatives and friends also very good. One should try to have cleanliness at their home and decorate their home properly. Right? Decoration which is pleasing to the eyes and uses of softer colors like blue and pink is highly recommended. Venus in the 12th house, one should donate for cow sheds, donate for protection of cows. One should help in cleanliness drive of the cleanliness drive. One should try to keep their surroundings clean. One should have a habit of cleaning everything, like, like cleaning as much things as they can. For example, see, like I work on this table, so I try to clean it every day. Right? So in the same manner, Venus in the 12th house, like when you wake up from sleep, make your bed properly. After using the bathroom, try to make sure, you know, that the bathroom is cleaned properly. Right. Or like, I'm not saying that you take a bath and then after taking a bath, mop the complete bathroom floor, but you know, try to spill less water and, you know, make it less dirty. This is at least that you can try this. You should do female co-workers should be helped. If you see a female worker around yourself, then give them some money. That is also very good. Gifting to female relatives, sisters, co female cousins, etc., cousin sisters, etc., is recommended. One should have good wardrobe of clothes, should wear neat and clean clothes. Uses of ornament and jewelry in dressing up is also recommended. One should dress according to the occasion and with Venus in the 12th house. You should spend on your home and vehicle, right? Venus in the 12th house, even if you have your own property, at least once every month, purchase something for your home. It can be a small candle to a new curtain, but purchase something for your home or vehicle once every month, at least that will be good. The more you purchase, better it will be. Of course, I'm not telling you to become a spendthrift, right? But the more you decorate your home and more you spend for your home and vehicle, better it will be. It will, you know, it will give you more fortunes and riches, etc. Donation of beds, utensil, you know, mattress, bed seats, etc. Things used in home, kitchen items to any needy person or to a priest is also a very beneficial remedy for Venus in the 12th house. And Specifically with Venus in the 12th house, make sure not to have affair with co-workers or not to have affair with people, not to have affair in office. Otherwise, it will be very problematic for your progress. So keep these things in mind. And as you do these remedies that I have recommended to you with respect to Venus in different houses, you will see positive changes in your life over time. And if you rigorously, diligently do them for one, one and a half years, then after this one, one and a half year, the condition of your life will be so good that you will think about your past and you will be amazed at how, how greatly you have progressed, right? These are synchronization based remedies, which makes you sure that the planet gives you good result only. And by having these habits in your nature, behavior and character, you will be, you know, correcting all the wrong karmas that you may have done unconsciously in this previous life as a part of Kriyamar Karma. And it will also make sure that you do not commit further mistakes. So it will correct your karmas and accordingly, you will get good results in life also. So follow these things and change your life for better. Thank you.